Hey guys, I'm sure gonna miss you this week. I hope you're doing well. Uh, we are covering emphasis and texture this week, and I wanted to go over what emphasis is in artwork. Emphasis is when you look at an artwork and something grabs your attention. And artists will use different techniques to create uh, that grab of your attention. One way that they can use in artwork is maybe they can add a color that draws your attention in, like you see with the tomatoes here. The green tomato right away pulls your attention. Artists can also use light as a way to draw your attention. You can see this artwork right here. It's pretty dark except for where the man is working. And also another trick that this artist has used is everybody is looking at what the man is creating there as well. So that draws your attention to the area and creates that emphasis. This one I really like. This artist has used size to create emphasis. So chicks are typically pretty little, but this guy is huge and it draws your attention right there. So size can be used as well to create emphasis in an artwork. We're talking about emphasis, but we're also talking about texture this week. And so texture is basically how something feels and artists will use different tricks uh, to create the look of texture in their artwork. So you can see here, the elephant looks like it has wrinkles and the artist has used a trick of different values to create that illusion. You've got the dark values up against the light values to create that look of wrinkles. But then you see the tusks on there coming off of the elephant and those tusks look very smooth compared to the rest of the elephant. Here's some samples of different types of skin. You can see the cowboy, his texture of his skin looks pretty rough and wrinkly. You've got the dark value up against the light value to create those wrinkles. The Indian's face is a little bit smoother, but you have the dark and light value up around the eyebrow to give him the look of like he's questioning. And then the last one is the little baby down in the corner and the values are blended really, really uh, evenly and uh, gently as to give the impression that the baby skin is smooth. Um, the last texture example here that I'll show you is different types of hair. So you can practice with your pencil getting those different types of maybe smooth or thick or um, curvy for the hair. So your guys' assignments this week, you'll have a journal entry and you're gonna write your definitions that are on your Canvas page. And then I want you to practice your texture. So here are different examples of, you know, how to create wood, the look of wood grain or a leaf. But you guys have five different types of texture that you're going to work on this week on your Canvas page. Um, and your next project uh, art um, assignment that you have is an emphasis project. So what I want you guys to do is research different animal eyes. And I'm going to have you draw different animal eyes, but you're going to draw them really, really big in the middle of your page. And I'd like for you to do your animal in black and white, but then the eyes to do in color. So we're going to use size and color to create emphasis in our artwork this week. Whatever you have available at home, if you have just pencils, that's fine. So just work with big, but if you have pencils and maybe crayons or um, markers or colored pencils, you can use the color to add into the eye area of your animal. It can be a cat, it can be a dog. Um, in our class, we're gonna be doing owls. So if you'd like to do an owl, that would be great. I know you guys will have a great week. I definitely miss you so much. Um, I won't see you next week either because you'll be out for fall. So have a great fall break. Remember, if you have any questions, please send me a message in Canvas or email me. I miss y'all. Thank you.